get it. Hey, Sonny. How you doing? Come right on in. Yeah, Fred, this is uh, Sonny Cochran. Sonny, yeah, this hello, is Fred Sonny. Sanford. Hello, Sonny. Hey, Mr. Sanford. Good. And that's, uh, 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 uh... Lamont. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sit down, Sonny. Have a little sit down. Yeah, have a sit down, Sonny. Have a little sit down. Right here. <laughs> uh, say, Sonny, uh, are you a lawyer? That depends on who you ask. If you ask me, I'm a lawyer. Well, uh, who says you're not a lawyer? The state of California. <laughs> But Sonny knows more law than most judges. Go ahead, ask him anything, Fred. Well, look, look here, Sonny. Now, uh, Lamont here got a traffic ticket, and he's innocent. Now, what should you do about it? Well, two viable options immediately suggest themselves. He can either pay the fine or fight it. <laughs> Did you hear that, Fred? <laughs> he's good, man. Man, that was legal talk. <laughs> no, look, look. I'm... I'm gonna pay the fine just like I did the last two and just skip all the hassle. You well, know? you have two prior tickets? Yeah. Within the past year? Yeah. <clears throat> if you have two prior tickets within the past year, do you know what this means? What? This means that this is your third ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and what I mean is... I told you he was good. <laughs> Look, under California law, you're only allowed four tickets in one year. And if this one goes on your record as the third one, you're only one away from the big one. The big one? What happens when you get the big one? Well, the judge can revoke your license and no more driving. And then that means that goes the truck, that goes the business, that goes Sanford, that goes Son. Won't be nothing left but Ann. <laughs> son, I think you ought to fight him. Hey, you may not have a choice. Well, listen, well, what are the chances of fighting this case? Mm, well, that depends on your line of defense. But first, we have to ascertain the facts. But tell me, what happened? Well, see, I had the green light, and there was this guy that came up from my right side, mm. and he was just about to run the red light, but he stopped all of a sudden. So to keep from hitting him, I had to go around him and run through the light. But you were supposed to stop and yield. He was supposed to stop and yield, Fred. <laughs> you were supposed to stop and yield, dummy. <laughs> I know that, but there was a guy directly behind me, and if I had stopped all of a sudden, I could have got rammed in the rear. Yeah, and that'd be dangerous. You can get whiplash and a rammed rear. <laughs> oh, did you tell this to the officer? Yeah, I told him, but he said the guy behind me had enough room to stop. Uh-huh. We may have a good defense after all. The facts established two immediate hazards, one in front and one in the back. And a dummy in the middle. <laughs> It may no longer be Lamont's word against the policeman's word, but Lamont's judgment against the policeman's judgment. Your best defense is to take the stand and tell the simple truth. And here's what you do. Watch this, Fred. Sonny's going to show them how to do it in court. Yeah, watch this, Lamont. Yeah, watch this. Is everybody watching? <laughs> yeah, we watching. Go ahead, Sonny. You get up in front of the judge and you say, Your Honor, <sighs> My story is quite simple. I saw a car pull in front of me, which constituted an immediate hazard. And even though I had the green light, I was intending to yield the right of way, just as the law says, because I was always taught to obey the law. <laughs> I'm not finished. Oh, sorry. But just then, I looked into my rearview mirror and I saw a car coming up fast behind me. Now, what was I to do? Break the law and avoid an accident? Or obey the law and see the blood of my fellow man spilled on the streets of our beautiful city? I made my decision, and I accept full responsibility and throw myself on the mercy of the court and place my fate in the hands of your honor. Now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's crazy.